che drai far floni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor. Tell me a little bit about the cheese now. You've got a great variety of cheeses here. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, you have to cut all this. This is a, this is a, this is a leg of a buffalo, isn't it? And so here we are, Richmond upon Thames. Far cry from the Mediterranean, I hear you say, yeah, well that may be. To my right here, nestled on the parade and amongst a few other shops, is the Green Village Group, Mediterranean, Delicatessen and Supermarket. Now, to create the perfect meal, you must begin with the perfect ingredients. And apparently, this little Aladdin's cave of culinary delights does not hold back the punches when it comes down to producing some of the finest Italian, come Mediterranean, French, Greek, finely sourced, ingredients and uh, some of the produce that you will not find in any other supermarket uh, within a five mile radius because they use nominated suppliers who comply with not supplying any other um, supermarkets or shops within this location. So without further ado let's go and see what Richmond's latest pride and joy has to offer. Believe it or not, on the left hand side, as soon as you enter, is a fine selection of beluga, royal beluga, caviar. Who would have thought you'd find caviar in Richmond? How bizarre is that? And so to the veg section, I'm not going to go too much into detail in this section because otherwise we'll be here all day. But there are a couple of things I'd like to show you. These are known as quinces and it's not often you will find or come across these. Fantastic fruit, somewhere between an apple and a pear, um, used mainly by, I guess, the Portuguese for like a jam that complements um, cheeses and things like that. It's called marmalade, marmalade, not marmalade, marmalade. And yeah, quinces, fantastic. Wow, great to see them somewhere. I will be doing a video on how to make marmalade, 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 whatever they call it. It's not marmalade, it's marmalade. I will be doing a video on how to make that. But yeah, quinces, not often you see them. And this is an Iranian lemon. That's an Iranian lemon. The difference between this and a normal lemon is you can actually eat this without squinting your eyes and looking like a bulldog chewing a wasp. Um, they are quite, they're not sweet, I wouldn't say sweet, not like an orange, but they're not bitter and sour. You can actually just eat them same as you would an orange. Yeah, nice to see. And then we come across these. Now to the average punter, that looks like a 
glow of ginger, ginger root, doesn't it? Well, it's not, okay? Let me tell you what that is. In fact, do you know what? I'm not gonna tell you what that is. You see if you can figure out what that is and leave a comment below. <laughs> but I'll tell you at the end what it is. But I'll give you a little clue. If you break one of these off, I don't know if you can see that inside, but it's an orangey yellow color. Really tastes not nice, don't taste good. And it's not used for its flavors in cooking, it's used for its coloring, and also used in a lot of natural medicines. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's turmeric, it's natural turmeric, yeah. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a yellow colour, and this is its natural, natural form. Don't eat it. I've just had some. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Uh, it's not because of the shop or anything. It's just the way it is. Tur natural turmeric doesn't taste nice. Yeah. Anyone got any ideas what you use that for? Leave a comment below, please. Because I ain't got a clue. Apart from the colouring, if it wasn't for the colour, I think it'd just go straight in the bin. Now, to the average punter, I guess oregano comes in little jars or little packets. Not here though, look at that. Greek oregano, stem of it, whole big stem of it. I mean, you just don't get better than that, do you? That's, the fact that it's still on the stalk as well, is gonna keep it more flavorsome, keep the flavor a lot more. Yeah, I'm gonna try some of that. And finally, I'm not going to go on too much because otherwise this video is going to be about five hours long. But I just had to show you that. That is smoked garlic. I haven't tried it yet, but the fact that it's here, I will be trying it. Smoked garlic. New one on me. Again, a fine selection of pastas. I mean, look at that. So long. You wouldn't break that up, you'd cook that in the pan as it is. It would be sacrilege to break it and uh, try and sup, sup one of those up in one go. I don't think it's going to happen. Not the ideal thing to have on a romantic date, I don't think, anyway. <laughs> You've even got your black linguine, which is obviously made with um, squid ink. Uh, different kinds of mushroom flavoured pastas lasagnas, linguinis, anything you want. Again, it seems to be here. You know, even your truffle flavored pastas are here. Yeah, so be adventurous, try something new. And this is the place to find it. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, I have to do a quick take on this. I've never heard of it before, but I have tried it. It's called Bucatini. You can see that. Bucatini, it's a fantastic pasta. It's a bit of a change from your run of the mill uh, spaghetti, basically. But yeah, fantastic, well worth a try. Bucatini, I highly recommend that. And a selection of rice, uh, Spanish rice, your polentas, your couscous. flour for your pastas and all your pizza bases and whole couscous and grains. So much variety here. You could spend all day in this little shop just having a look around and picking out different kinds of things. Your risotto rices, uh, different kinds of flours. Again, your pastas, different types of pastas from different regions. So I'm here today in the Green Village group, uh, 
Mediterranean delicatessen and supermarket in Richmond and today I'm having a little look around the shop and I'm going to try and find someone to hopefully help me out and tell me a little bit more about it. Okay, so how long has the shop been open? Uh, we you? opened six weeks ago. Yeah, and how's yeah. it going? Oh, it's very good, especially on Easter it was very busy. Yeah, and does it, do you think it's something that Richmond's been looking for, like Italian, Mediterranean? Yeah, all the, all the people that get inside the shop said that they needed to, this kind of shop and they are looking for yeah. this kind of delicatessen. And, so basically, uh, most of the products are sourced from Italian and yeah. Spanish, Mediterranean supplies, and you're Italian yourself, yeah. aren't you? So, you know, what better person to get this kind of information from? And what do you personally think of the shop? Are you inspired by it? I like this shop. I like all the food. They are very, yeah. very good. Luckily, there is no like all the typical brand that you can find inside yeah. an Italian shop that you can find something more. Uh, so uh, as an Italian, more, more better than the regular one. Yeah, as an Italian, if you were looking for something to create uh, uh, an Italian dish, you, 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 you'd come to agree with Yeah, for thing. sure, for sure, 100%. You can yeah. find almost whatever you want. And they are all authentic products. Sorry? Product. They're all authentic products as well. Yeah, they are. Products, they so are all authentic products. They're not cutting products. corners on anything or anything else like that. Wow, fantastic. And tell me a little bit, huh? <laughs> tell me a little bit about the cheese. Now, you've got a Great variety oh, of cheeses here. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, you have to cut all this. This is, a, this, is a, this is a leg of a buffalo, isn't it? Yeah, this is Spanish, I guess it's Pata Negra, yeah. I guess. But I don't even eat meat, so. <laughs> no, I'm vegetarian. So, whereabouts do these cheeses come from? You've got French cheese. Yeah, this one is. Italian. Those are French cheese. All of these are Italian cheese. This one's from one from the Greek South. Cheeses. Yeah, the Greek is over here. This one oh. is Italian as well. That would, be, that would be your Parmesan, would it? Parm yeah. Parmigiano. So. Yeah, Grana Padano. This right. is, this is the Parmigiano. So, basically, I mean, this is Richmond. Now, predominantly, who would you say is the highest uh, country or kind of people coming in the shop? Where are they from? Uh, Italians. Yeah, Italians. Italian and Spanish as well, yeah. yeah. The, but the majority is Italian. And what about the English? Do you get many English in here trying to do a bit of Yeah, but I guess that they are all local in, in yeah. Richmond, probably. Maybe they get inside because they know the products uh, and they you know they know what they are buying. Yeah. The majority, yes, it's all Italian people. Italian Brilliant. Alicia, thank you very much for helping yeah. me out. So there you have it, the Green Village Group in Richmond. What a fantastic little place this is. The little Aladdin's Cave of culinary delights. Um, all your Italian ingredients that you need and everything else. I've left the link in the bottom for the website to the Green Village Group. So if you want to go and visit that and uh, have a look and see what else they've got and look more in depth into some of their products, then feel free, go ahead. Um, but for me, that's all for now and thank you very much for joining me and thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo.